Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Game Power. In this video, we're going to talk about Roblox and how the game makes so much money and is worth so much. When the children's digital game Roblox launched on New York Stock Exchange, the company's share price rapidly took off. Yeah, by the end of the day, it was valued at $38 billion. You can't believe that, can you? How can a game for kids be worth so much? Don't dwell on this question anymore. You just have to stay till the end of the video to quench your thirst for this answer. What really is Roblox? This is not new. Yeah, it has been around since 2004, but it's often overshadowed by the more popular and easily understandable game Minecraft. Yes, that Minecraft, which is bought by Microsoft. Minecraft players create and explore pixelated worlds and share them with friends. In Roblox, players can create and share entire games to play millions of games created by others in the community, which sounds more interesting. Obviously, Roblox. If you're a Roblox player, then you might have heard of these most popular games. My Restaurant, Theme Park Tycoon, Tower Defense Simulator. In 2020, Roblox had 32.6 million daily active users. For comparison, the popular and widely discussed game Fortnite only has around 25 million active daily users. What is the reason for the success? Not just a game, but a design playground. Roblox is ultimately a playground for designing games. Yeah, this is the most innovative idea ever in the gaming industry. Using Roblox Studio, anyone, I mean literally anyone, can create virtual games that can then be easily released on the Roblox platform instantly becoming available to millions and millions of players. This user-created content can then be played by other players. This is the best part of Roblox. So what's in it for the creators? Let's get to that. Roblox has an embedded system for making small purchases within the platform, and creators receive 30% of the revenue. In 2020, Roblox paid out $32.87 million this way. That's not it. Some creators earn as much as $50,000 per month. You'd be surprised to know that there are more than 300 creators who earned over $100,000 in 2020. This is so out of the world. You might think that most games, even Roblox, can quickly go in and out of fashion, but Roblox's community of developers will keep pumping out fresh content. This is great for Roblox, which benefits from what game scholar Julian Kukulich calls the precarious playboard of the creators. What parents need to know. So if you have a 9 year old at home badgering you about joining their friends online in Roblox, what do you need to know? For children interested in programming, there is nothing better than Roblox to get started. With its relatively simple at code editor, even kids as young as 8 or 9 can learn how to develop their own games, with numerous courses available for kids, parents, and teachers. There are also contact risks like adults can friend children in-game and then message them privately or on third-party apps like Discord. However, Roblox has been far-sighted in addressing safety issues. It has joined the Australian eSafety Commissioner's Tier 1 social media scheme employed a director of digital civility and also partnered with university researchers to work out how to best make the platform a safe space for children to play. What more can they do? Roblox has also been verified as complying with the U.S. Children's Online Privacy Protection Act regulations regarding privacy and collection of data. This now would put you parents at ease. What can parents do at home? If you're a parent and wondering how to create a safe online play environment, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Roblox's website provides information about how to limit chat functions. You should be aware of certain games allowing trading of in-game items, including ones purchased with real money. Paying $5 to have a cool set of wings in a digital game might seem silly to you, but it may still be valuable to kids. The best way to have a conversation about what they spend their money on and why and set budgets so children can learn how to balance their purchasing decisions against other players. Having controls on in-app purchases on devices is also a good idea when kids are using them for playing games. It's also important to remember that digital play is still play, and it can be an important part of a healthy childhood. Join your kids in these virtual worlds and try to understand the appeal of Roblox, and it would definitely be a neat opportunity for some quality bonding time too. Which parent doesn't want that in these times? This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.